dear students in the previous class we have studied about how to calculate goodwill under average profit method today we will see how to calculate goodwill under super profit method and capitalization method later on we will study the treatment of goodwill now we will start with calculation of goodwill under super profit method before taking the numerical question under super profit method you should know what is super profit in any business certain amount of profit is normally expected but in practice we may earn more profit than that of the normal or sometimes we may earn equal or less than that of the normal profit when we earn more than that of the normal profit it is known as super profit as i told you we may earn either equally or less than that of the normal profit then in such case the super profit will either be zero or negative in such case the goodwill will be recorded as either zero or nil goodwill can't be recorded in negative now let's see how we can solve the problem or how we will calculate the goodwill under super profit method the formula to calculate goodwill under super profit method is goodwill is equals to super profit into number of years purchases number of years purchases will be given in the question now you have to find out super profit how you will find out super profit super profit is equals to actual profit or nahi to average profit minus normal profit normal profit now we will find out how the normal profit is calculated normal profit is equals to capital employed into normal rate of return divided by 100 this is the formula to calculate the normal profit now let's take a numerical question of how to calculate the goodwill under super profit method the question is a firm and the net profit during the last 3 years as in the first year rupees 36000 in the second year it is rupees 40000 in the third year it is rupees 44000 the capital investment of the firm is rupees 120000 the fair return on the capital having regard to this risk involved is 10% calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of 3 years purchase of the average super profit of last 3 years now we will solve the problem of how to calculate the goodwill under super profit method for that purpose first always write down the formula the formula is goodwill is equals to super profit into number of years purchases now we will find out the super profit super profit is equals to actual profit या फिर एवरेज प्रॉफिट माइनस नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट नाउ यू विल फाइंड आउट द नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट नॉर्मल प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल्स टू कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड इन टू normal rate of return divided by 100 so this is the formula now let's substitute the value in the formula 
first we will calculate the normal profit how the normal profit is calculated normal profit is equals to capital employed see capital employed is given in the question as rupees 1 lakh 20000 into the normal rate of return is also given in the question it is 10% let's calculate and it is rupees 12000 so 12000 rupees is a normal profit now let's find out the super profit before calculating the super profit you should know whether the actual profit is given in the question or you have to calculate the average profit see here in this case you are asked to calculate the average profit now how you will calculate the average profit first average profit the three years profit is given to you write the profit of all the three years and that is the first year's profit is rupees 36,000 the second year's profit is rupees 40,000 and the third year's profit is rupees 44,000 divided by 3 because we use the formula as average profit is equals to total profit divided by number of years so we have to write down the profit of all the three years divided by 3 now let's total it it will be 76 80 1 lakh 20,000 so it is 1 lakh 20,000 divided by 3 if we calculate this 3 1 3 3 4 is 12 1 2 3 4 so it is rupees 40,000 so 40,000 rupees is the average profit now let's calculate the super profit super profit is equals to actual profit or average profit we got average profit here as rupees 40,000 minus what is the normal profit we got it is rupees 12,000 subtract rupees 12,000 from 40,000 you will get rupees 28,000 so it means that super profit is rupees 28,000 now let's calculate goodwill goodwill is equals to super profit what is the amount of super profit it is rupees 28000 into number of years purchases number of years purchases is given in the question as rupees as 3 multiply this two figure 83 is 24 2 3 to the 6 and plus 2 8 so 84000 rupees so 84000 rupees is the amount of goodwill and this goodwill is the goodwill of the entire firm so we have seen the question how to find out the goodwill under super profit method now we will see how to calculate goodwill under capitalization method dear students remember when we calculate the goodwill under capitalization method you can use any of the two methods the first one is capitalization of average profit method or capitalization of super profit method i will write the formula of both these methods here that how you will calculate the goodwill under capitalization method as i told you that the first method is capitalization capitalization of average profit and secondly it is capitalization of super profit see the formula of capitalization how we will calculate the goodwill under capitalization of average profit so goodwill can be calculated as capitalized value capitalized value minus capital employed now we have to find out the capitalized value so the formula to find out the capitalized value is equals to average average profit into 100 by normal rate of return now we will calculate how to find out the capital employed so write down the formula first capital employed is equals to total assets minus 
outside liabilities. Now, what is this outside liabilities? Outside liabilities refers to such amount which we have to make the payment to the outsiders. As for example, the creditors or the bills payable, any outstanding expenses, bank loan. So these are all the outside liabilities. Now, let's pass on to see the formula of how to calculate capitalization of super profit. The formula to calculate the goodwill is super profit into 100 by normal rate of return. Now you have to find out super profit. Super profit is equals to actual profit or average profit minus normal profit now we will see how to calculate the normal profit so normal profit is equals to capital employed into normal rate of return divided by 100 now how you will calculate the capital employed capital employed is equals to total assets minus outside liabilities now let's take a numerical question for calculating the goodwill under capitalization method the question is a business has earned the average profit of rupees 1 lakh during the last few years and the normal rate of return in similar business is 10%. Find out the value of goodwill first by capitalization of average profit method and secondly by capitalization of super profit method. The assets of the business were rupees 10 lakh and its outside liabilities is rupees 1 lakh 80,000. Now we will find out the goodwill for the first point and that is point number one capitalization of average profit method. Here you have to find out the goodwill. Goodwill is equals to capitalized value minus capital employed then you have to find out the capitalized value is equals to average profit into 100 by normal rate of return then we have to find out the capital employed is equals to total assets minus or total assets minus outside liabilities write down full here as outside liabilities now let's substitute the value in the formula See, first we have to find out the capital employed. So write down here as a capital employed. What is the total assets given in the question? It is rupees 10 lakh minus outside liabilities is given as rupees 1 lakh 80,000. If we subtract here, it will be rupees 8 lakh 20,000. Now let's find out the capitalized value. Capitalized value. What is the average profit given here in the question? It is rupees 1 lakh into 100 by normal rate of return is 10. So write down here as 10, 0, 0. So here it will be rupees 10 lakh. Now let's find out the goodwill. Goodwill is equals to capitalized value. 10 lakh minus, what is the capital employed? It is rupees 8 lakh 20,000. 
the answer is rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand so it means that the goodwill of the entire firm which we have calculated through capitalization of average profit method is rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand now using the same question we will find out point number two capitalization of super profit method the formula to calculate the goodwill under capitalization of super profit method is super profit into 100 by normal rate of return next you have to find out the super profit super profit is equals to actual profit or average profit minus normal profit now let's find out the normal profit normal profit is equals to capital employed into normal rate of return divided by 100 now let's find out the capital employed capital employed is equals to total assets minus outside liabilities this is the formula now let's find out the capital employed first the capital employed is equals to the total assets given in the question is rupees 10 lakh subtract outside liabilities it is rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand the balancing figure is rupees 8 lakh 20 thousand now let's calculate the normal profit normal profit is equals to what is the capital employed it is rupees 8 lakh 20 thousand into normal rate of return given in the question is 10 percent 0 0 0 so it is rupees 82 thousand so we have calculated the normal profit also now we have to calculate the super profit super profit is equals to actual profit yeah for average profit see here in this question average profit is given to you as rupees 1 lakh now substitute the value in the formula it is rupees 1 lakh minus what is the normal profit it is rupees 82,000 if we subtract the balance is rupees 18,000 now let's find out the goodwill goodwill is equals to what is the amount of super profit it is rupees 18,000 into 100 divided by normal rate of return is 10 0, 0, and the answer is rupees 1 lakh 80,000 now see in while calculating the goodwill through both the method that is by the average profit method and by the super profit method you get the same figure that is rupees 1 lakh 80 thousand now let's pass on to see the treatment of the goodwill after the calculation of the goodwill now we will see the treatment of goodwill see what happens is this is the partnership firm this is the partnership firm and when a new partner is admitted in the partnership business let's name him as a when this partner takes admission in the partnership business he brings two amount with himself one is his share capital and the second amount that he brings with himself is the share of goodwill now why he is bringing his share of goodwill in the partnership business he brings his share of goodwill in the partnership business just because in order to compensate the sacrificing partners the sacrificing partners they have surrendered their share in profit in favor of the new partner that is in favor of the C now in return to this the partnership business gives certain thing to C and what is it it is a share in profit 
to C. Partnership business is giving the share in profit to C. Now, let's see. When a new partner takes the admission in the partnership business and when he brings his share capital in the partnership business and when he brings the share of goodwill in the business, at that moment, what general entry will be passed? This we will see under various cases. Let's see the first case when the premium for goodwill is paid privately by the new partner. Dear students, when you see such case where the new partner pays privately the amount of premium to the sacrificing partner, then in such case no journal entries for the payment of the premium has to be recorded in the book of accounts. Now let's take a numerical question for this. Dear students, the treatment of goodwill can be seen in the different cases. Now we will see the general entries of how to record the amount of premium in the book of account under case 1. What is the case 1? Case 1 is when the premium for goodwill is paid privately by the new partner. Now this is the case 1. I am repeating once again. What is case 1? When a new partner, he pays the amount of premium privately or directly to the new partner in any proportionate ratio. Now, let's take a numerical question for it. A and B are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 2 is to 1. C is admitted as a new partner for 1 by 4 share in the profit. He contributes rupees 1,50,000 as his capital and pays the proportionate amount of goodwill to A and B privately. At the time of the admission, the goodwill is valued at rupees 50,000. However, goodwill appears in the book at rupees 30,000. Pass necessary journal entries. Now, we have to pass the general entry for the above set transactions. Now, how the general entries will be passed. <clears throat> Let's make the column for this. This is the column for particulars. This is the column for ledger folio. This is the column of debit amount. And this is the column for the credit amount. This is the journal entries. Now, the very first general entry that you have to pass is if any existing goodwill has appeared in the book of account. See here in this question also, rupees 30,000 is showing in the old book of account that is in the book of A and B. What we have to do is we will have to write off this old goodwill before giving the admission to a new partner. So when we write off this old goodwill, what will be the general entry? The, good, the general entry will be A's capital account debit, A's capital account debit, B's capital account debit to goodwill account. See, here in this case, we are writing off the old goodwill. And when old goodwill is written off, at that moment, goodwill has to be credited. And this has to be written off among the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio. So what is the amount of the old goodwill given in the question and it is rupees 30,000. So write down here as rupees 30,000. I told you that this amount of rupees 30,000 has to be written off among the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio. Now let's find out of A that how much A will have to be a 30,000 into 2 by 3. 3 1 3 
so it is 10,000 so here it is rupees 20,000 for A and the 10,000 for B so write down here as 20,000 and here you have to write down as rupees 10,000 now let's write down the narration being old goodwill return of return of among old partners in their sacrificing sorry in their old ratio that's all now we have recorded the very first general entry and that general entry was for writing of the old goodwill now let's see when the new partner is admitted in the partnership business he brings with himself his share capital so what will be the general entry at that moment the general entry will be cash or bank account debit to new partners capital account you have to write by name what is the name of the new partner it is c so c is capital account how much he is bringing he is bringing rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand so write down here as rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand now see here in this case he has not brought his share of goodwill in cash if he had brought his share of goodwill in cash at that moment you have to write down the entry for the premium for goodwill here itself but here in this case he has not brought any share of goodwill so we are not supposed to write here to premium for goodwill so we will pass a simple entry that is a cash account or bank account at a bit to seize capital account now let's write on the narration being the new partner brings his share capital this is the thing that you have to record in the book of account of a b and C. now let's see the second case the second case is when the premium for the goodwill is brought in by the new partner in cash and retained in the business so now we will see the case second now let's see the question Arti and Bharti are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 3 to 2 they admitted Sarthi as a new partner and the new profit sharing ratio will be 2 is to 1 is to 1 Sarthi brought rupees 50,000 as her capital and rupees 10,000 as her share of goodwill goodwill already appears in the book of Arti and Bharti at rupees 5,000 past necessary general entries in the book for the above transaction now let's see how we will pass the general entry as I told you that first of all we will have to write off the old goodwill now how the old goodwill is a written off see we have to prepare the column for writing the journal entries this is the column for particulars this is the column for ledger folio this is the column of amount this is the column of amount the credit balance now what i told you is you have to first write of the old goodwill which has appeared in the book of arti and bharti so what will be the general entry the general entry will be arti's capital account debit Bharti's capital account debit to goodwill account now what is the amount of goodwill that has to be written off it is rupees 5000 now the amount of uh, rupees 5000 which is the amount of old goodwill has to be written off 
among the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio. Now let's find out how the amount will be recorded here. For A that is for R3 it is 5000 into 3 by 5. So it will be rupees 3000 and for Bharti 5000 into 2 by 5. So it will be rupees 2000. Now let's write on the amount in front of RT as rupees 3000 and in front of a Bharti as rupees 2000. Now we will write down the narration being existing goodwill written off among old partners in their old profit sharing ratio now after this general entry we will pass the next general entry when sarthi is bringing her share capital and her share of goodwill in cash in the business at that moment we will pass the general entry as cash account debit to sarthi's capital account to premium for goodwill account the general entry will be cash account debit to sarthi's capital account to premium for goodwill account now how much sarthi is bringing as her share capital it is rupees 50000 so record rupees 50000 here and she is bringing rupees 10000 as her share of goodwill the total of these two is rupees 60000 which is coming in in the business now let's write on the narration here being sarthi brings her share capital and her share of goodwill now after this general entry we will pass the next general entry and the next general entry is when the new partner has brought her share of goodwill then that amount of share of goodwill will be distributed among the sacrificing partners so what will be the general entry for it the general entry will be premium for goodwill account debit to now we can't write down the name unless and until we know whether both the old partners they have sacrificed or not for this purpose we will have to first calculate the sacrificing ratio so now let's find out the sacrificing ratio let's calculate the sacrificing ratio what is the formula to calculate the sacrificing ratio sacrificing ratio is equals to old share minus new share now we can calculate the sacrificing ratio of Arti and Bharti. Arthis and Bharti's. Now what is the old share? Old share is 3 by 5. What is the new share? It is 2 is 2, 1 is 2, 1. So it will be, sorry, it will be 2 by 4 now let's calculate it 4 5 are 20 12 minus 10 is equals to 2 by 20 now let's talk about the Bharti Bharti was having 2 by 5 share in the profit which is the old share in profit minus new share in the profit is 1 by 4 so here also it is 28 minus 5 which is 3 by 20 so the sacrificing ratio of Arti and Bharti is 2 is to 3 
Now, it means that the amount of a rupees 10,000 will be distributed between both the partners in the ratio of 2 is to 3. So, you have to write down here as 2 Arthi's capital account to Bharti's capital account. Now, let's find out the amount that how much will be recorded in their capital account. The total amount that has to be distributed is rupees 10,000. So, Arthi will get out of 10,000 in their sacrificing ratio that is 2 by 5. 5 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10, 2000 into 2 is 4000. Now let's talk about Bharti's. Bharti will also get out of 10,000. So it is 3 by 5, 5 is a 5, 5 2 is a 10, 0 0 is equal to 6000. Now the share of goodwill which is brought in by Sarthi will be distributed between Arthi and Bharti in their sacrificing ratio of 2 is to 3 and the amount which Arthi will get is rupees 2000 and Bharti will get rupees 6000. So the amount will be recorded here amount is rupees 4000 and this amount is rupees 6000. Now let's write down the narration here being the premium for goodwill distributed between the sacrificing sacrificing partners in their sacrificing ratio that's all so this is the way in which we will solve the problem okay students the remaining cases we will see in the next class okay thank you